What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the Betty series here, and we have another upgrade that has been done. We finally transferred all the Starry Gems over, because of course there's absolutely no way an early game account can make purchases with a cap of 8 per day. Credit rating, stupidest thing ever. Uh, understand why it's there, still stupid, because it actually kind of enforces black market trading even more, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, so... I think what they originally intended this to be, so people didn't make new accounts, buy a ton of Starry Gems, convert them over, or Prism Starry Gems, convert them to Starry Gems, gift them or buy something, and then charge back everything on that account. I'm pretty sure that's why they did it. Uh, it could definitely be abused. But, <laughs> that's now nor there here nor there. We have an A-plus copy that is legitimately almost an S tier. We have Giant Killer, we have Divine Block, which Divine Block is absolutely huge it's block damage reduction is effective against all types of damage so you want her to have a lot of block strength uh, and then on top of that we also have control precision absolutely amazing you gotta love it right now we have zero block so that's the downside of this uh you kind of need to run it <laughs> <laughs> in order to get blocked the block strength for divine block eagles 100 the block strength although maybe you don't actually need a block chance you just need to know how much i don't know not really sure how divine block works out we'll have to figure out eventually though i don't know our crit chance really good crit damage is way too high now because if you guys remember last time we had the treasure train i think we have like 33 percent yeah we have a ton of crit damage here so it's kind of overkill, to be honest. What I'd like to do is just take that crit damage and just go for some block. I think that'll be nice and healthy. Still waiting to get a Splendid Demon Belt. Not a big difference per se. Uh, so everything is looking pretty solid so far. We have an A- minus Natalie as well. That's going to be a Natalia. So that's a nice little bonus here. We got Giant Killer Armor Break Skill Damage. Very good offensive one. Kind of lower stats overall, but still works out very well for us. And yeah, we're playing the waiting game in campaign, slowly grinding up. We're almost level 90. We got to get to 130 before we can zoom all the way to the void campaign. Uh, and we also have, I believe, oh no, we didn't actually build the regular Betty yet. We did not. But I bet what we can do is unlock it with this guy. I bet you we can. Oh, wait, we don't even have a stone because dust is a huge issue on an early game account like this. Let's just see if Azrael can do anything. He might be able to win this for us. I really don't know. Um, let's just go with an army of Azrael. How about that? That looks pretty good. <laughs> Granted, we have a very big treasure train, so it wouldn't surprise me if we could beat this. This is where we got stuck with a regular five-star Betty, though. Just keep that in mind. I don't I don't think he's going to be strong enough. These are all level 1 so I don't think they're even going to revive. No, I guess not because he's just going to slowly kill himself as well. So he's definitely not the hero pick. We definitely need to build a regular Betty to go along with the Transcendence Betty. Uh I guess what you could do actually if we wanted to speed this process up, we could legitimately just regress the Betty <laughs> to ceiling 20 and then rebuild her back that is an option but um i thought i swore we had a level 100 betty i don't maybe they used uh, is he get used as food am i just missing something i guess not last time we cleared out tower oblivion which was super easy we also cleared out brave trial aspen dungeon comes up later tonight and we're already at level 73 so there's not a ton of game modes that need to happen just yet next time the void uh vortex opens will have a really good progression and of course here we are continuously pushing to get to the next level and these are going very very smoothly for us we'll come on over here i'll show you guys what the battles actually look like here throw a couple carries in the lineup with us still can't use her core i hate that we got to get to void campaign for that but as you guys can see here she just instantly just one taps everything we are going to be able to go much much further than normally um man we actually can't unlock a lot of those things here even adding other heroes doesn't do anything so 
Uh, we'll chuck you in at the very least since we don't really need the Azrael. And we will finish out this level. Again, you want to make sure your Void Corruption is maxed out for this last tile. That way you can go to higher difficulties in the future. Just chuck any old person in here. Even the bosses, I think, are going to be very easy at this difficulty. Because 15, super low. This is usually something you'd be able to do with just a regular E5 type hero. Like an Eloise or something, but... Yeah, we move on to the next level, we get our resources, and then we want to up this up to the next level and continue pushing. That's just what we're going to do for a very, very long time. Void Arc we're participating in, we're getting some resources, and again, it really sucks we did not get the Transcendence Whale. Uh, we are awakening a ton more. We're just going straight Sombers until we can get the Transcendence Whale, because that is going to be the first one you want to awaken. And besides that, that is pretty much all the game modes to even talk about right now yes we can talk about crystal crown league it looks like wow oblivion what the what how is that that much power really can i fight oblivion i want to fight oblivion oh hey mkx jump i forgot he's on here just throw one hero in it's fine it's fine it's good it's good um why is it not letting us match up that's really weird that's like really weird that it's not letting us match up. I want to see what his team actually looks like. <laughs> Why is it actually not giving us competition up at the top? That's really weird. Oh, there it is. There's Oblivion. Okay, so let's set up a legitimate team here, potentially. Let's see what the combat looks like. He is going the normal standard route with going with Eloise and Tix. And honestly... I don't think that's a strategy that pays off. If you're spending and you're going this crazy on treasure training and everything, why are you even going the Eloise route? That's so, so foolish. Ah, uh, it just doesn't really, doesn't really make sense. At least not to me. It does not make sense. You can have all that power. If you're going for treasure train, if you are whaling and going for like VIP 7, VIP 8 in the early game, it's the stupidest thing ever. I know the, the Cardinal Sin is using spheres for Crystals of Transcendence, but getting to an instant first Transcendence hero is such a huge power gain. It's worth the loss of Stellar Shards because once you do get your first Transcendence heroes, then you just never take those spheres and turn them into the, the crystals. You turn them only into stellar shards which we have 312,000 still sitting here so that's the big difference that is the big mistake that i see a lot of people make when it's coming to spinners all they do is follow the free to play and low spinner guides which is essentially this right here this is almost to the books how you do a free to play account this this is how you do a whale account pretty much granted yeah, i mean the giant killer that doesn't count but the team composition definitely matters the only critique i would say is i wish i really wish we would have gotten sea land 20 done first because then we could be making tons of progression in sea land as well which gives us cloud island materials on top of that so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully you learned something if you're gonna spend out there <laughs> don't go the eloise route it's, it's just not worth it see you guys next time